Just a year ago, uh, I finished culinary school and I was looking for a business opportunity. And uh, you know, we, my wife and I loved Panini Bay Restaurant and we were just online one day and saw it for sale. So uh, last June uh, 19th, uh, we closed on our, what we thought was our dream uh, location. We had a, a restaurant at the shore and we lived in the apartment above. Uh, and you were right on the water in Tuckerton. The storm left more than 40 people dead in the United States. Millions are still without power and towns remain flooded. Climate change models show forecasted for exponential sea level rise into the future, severe storms at high intensities, flash flooding. Our communities need to be prepared for this. We hope to provide them great information to help them be prepared. Superstorm Sandy is one eye-opener for communities. When we returned after the storm, everything had been completely flooded. Everything on the waterfront side had been destroyed, torn off, everything under the house destroyed. I have a wife and two young children, a three-year-old and an infant. And uh, <laughs> it's hard to talk about. We want them to grow up here on the water, but you know the storm really shook things up. I right now am facing a struggle between teaching people how to be more resilient and think about the future while knowing that emotionally they're dealing with the here and now and what happened to them after the storm. The first reaction was just to rebuild uh, as quickly as possible. But then as you know, the week started to go by, we heard about the base flood elevations were gonna change. And then they had links to what the advisory base flood elevation is on the FEMA website. You know, we based some of our building decisions on that. When we elevated, it was the 11 feet plus three. So it took some extra time. That's how we ended up missing this whole summer season. But I think in the long run, we're building in such a way that hopefully it'll last for 20 years, 25 years at least. And this is the entrance. Ivor is the perfect example of someone that has made a decision in a more resilient way, thinking about 20, 30 years into the future. After Superstorm Sandy went through, we had been working on a website called the New Jersey Flood Mapper, which shows future inundation due to sea level rise. Take this and slide it, it starts showing you what, at one foot of rise. That's one foot? Yeah. The New Jersey Flood Mapper, we think is a very powerful tool for helping people think about the future. Whereas FEMA floodplain maps sort of talk about past conditions, our maps look into the future. What is Green Street under? When I was working with Ivor, it was obvious that he had not heard about sea level rise yet, that that was a new concept to him. So now we need a boat to get down the street. That's crazy. And so this is where the water would be at a high tide level. And so that's why we know people should be concerned about this. The sea level rise is totally, totally new to me. A lot of what you read, they say six inches by 2050 or a few inches. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of shocking. If you're thinking about rebuilding or you're a town official thinking about the future of your town and you don't want to just look in the rear view mirror all the time, you sort of want to look ahead, we think our mapping tool provides that window into the future and provides good science-based information to help them make an informed decision. It's shocking that, you know, the sea level rise is one foot and the land we're on now is underwater at high tide. It's uh, very informative and a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're doing the right thing in terms of rebuilding for the future. We didn't want to do anything too short term and we're going to have a beautiful restaurant that hopefully will you know, be very successful. We know that communities, counties, and even the state at this point are using sea level rise data when thinking about future hazards and ways to mitigate for those future hazards. So that makes my job feel important and it makes me feel like we're doing something that's making a difference.